Hi guys, welcome back to Grace Gaddy Pilates. I'm going to take you through a reformer session today with just one blue spring. So that's half a spring. And we'll start with our box. If you've got a box, you're going to place it onto the floor to the side of your reformer, just as a short box. If you don't have a box, that's okay. You can actually use the carriage as your box. So we're going to stand with our feet hip width apart, arms are by your side. I want you to inhale, take a nice deep belly breath. And as you exhale, you're going to nod your chin to your chest. You're going to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Reach your fingertips towards the box. And I want you to lay your palms nice and flat. From here, you're going to inhale, start to bend the knees. As you bend the knees, you're going to uncurl the spine, start to have a nice straight flat back. And as you exhale, I want you to press into your heels, start to draw your belly button up towards the ceiling, start to lengthen through the legs, and draw your gaze towards your navel. Now you're gonna inhale, bend the knees, start to uncurl again, sticking your bottom out. And then exhaling, pressing away from the box, lengthening through the hamstrings, inhaling, letting your belly hang, exhaling, pressing away. Inhale, let your belly hang again. This time, as we start to exhale and lengthen our legs, I want you to add in a little heel lift. So starting to lift the heels off, lower the heels down, bend through the knees, draw your gaze forwards, and then exhale, pressing away. Lengthening the legs, add in a little heel lift, lower the heels down, inhale. One more. Pressing away, lifting through the heels, lowering your heels down. As they're lowered, I want you to bend your right knee and then straighten the right knee and then bend the left. So it's almost like we're walking out. If you want to, you can lift the heels off. Otherwise, you can keep the heels nicely, firmly planted on the floor. We've got six for five, four, three, two, one, just on the next one, I want you to move your breastbone to whichever leg is straightening. So you're bending and then extending, just moving the upper body, you're getting that movement through the side, twisting through the spine. You might even feel a stretch down the side of your legs. We've just got six, four, five, four, three, two. Last one here, lengthen your legs. We're now going to re-stack up one vertebrae at a time. And then the last thing to lift is your gaze. Nice. We're going to move the box so it's out of our way. So just place it off to one side. And I want you to come into a four-point kneeling position on top of your carriage. Your hands, are, oh sorry, your knees are just a fist width distance apart. And then you're going to wrap your hands around the frame of the reformer. So I want you to lift up and out of the shoulders and make sure that your shoulders are above your wrists. From here, all we're going to do is hinge at the hips. We're going to exhale, start to float the carriage up to meet our hands. And then inhale, release. Exhale, drawing the carriage up. Inhaling to release. So working through our reverse abdominals, belly buttons drawing to our spine. Exhale, floating that carriage up, inhaling to release. We've got six more here. For five, keep drawing your belly button towards your spine. Four more. Your final three here. Keep lifting out of the shoulders for two. And you've got your last one here. Draw the carriage into the stopper so that we can change our hands. We're now going to bring our right hand over to our left side. So your right hand's above your left hand. We're now going to draw our shoulders above our wrists again. And it's like you're a little pussy cat. I want you to look towards your tail. Keeping your gaze towards your tail, keep lifting out of the shoulders. You're going to exhale, draw the carriage up to meet your hands. Inhaling to release. Exhale, drawing up. Inhaling to release. We've got six more here for five. Final four. Three to go. Two more, and your last one here. 
release that. And now we're going to place our right hand on the right side. Our left hand's coming on top. Shoulders above the wrists. And now looking towards our tail, we're going to exhale, draw the carriage up to meet our hands. Inhale to release. Exhaling and inhaling. We've got six to go. For five. Final four. Three. We've got two. And our last one here, release. Place our left hand on the left hand side. Just come back into a child's pose position. And then slowly walk yourself all the way back up. So we're gonna turn around and we're gonna come into a high kneeling position, facing towards one another. So you want your shins right up against the shoulder rests. And then I want you to reach down with your right hand or your left hand, whichever one that's closest towards the long loop. And grab hold of your long loop. My hand's coming onto my hip and I'm gonna reach my arm out nice and long. So you want your shoulders down, hips are trucking forward. We're gonna inhale, take a nice deep belly breath, reaching through the crown of the head. As we exhale, I want you to add in a little bicep curl here. And we're gonna to inhale to release. Exhale, adding in your bicep curl. Inhaling to release. If it ever feels like it's too light with the long loop, you can always grab hold of your short loop. We're gonna exhale, add in our bicep curl. Inhale to release. We always want the elbow in line with our shoulders. If you feel like you're losing slack, you can always walk your knees closer towards the center of the carriage. And that way you can fully extend your arm nice and long. Using your breath here. We've got five and four before we add on to it. Three more here, shoulders are down, belly buttons drawing to your spine. Two more here. And our last one. On the next one, as you add in your bicep curl, I want you to have a nice flat palm. You're gonna exhale, press away with the right arm. Keep your hips tracking forward, just rotate the upper body, and then you're gonna release that. And then exhaling, adding in your bicep curl, adding in that slight rotation from the upper body, and then releasing. We've got four more here. Pressing that away. And unfolding, we've got three. Working through our bicep. Final two here. And we've got our last one. Pressing away. Unfolding the arm, nice work. Place your long loop onto your shoulder pin. We're gonna repeat that on the other side. So turning around, you've either got your knees up close to the shoulder rest or you can have your knees in the center of the carriage. You're gonna reach down, grab hold of your long loop. Your right hand's onto your hip, your left arm's up nice and outstretched. We're gonna exhale, add in our bicep curl. Inhale to release. Exhale, bicep curl. Inhaling to release. Shoulders are down. Try and keep your elbow in line with your shoulders so it's not dipping down towards your waist. Oh, it's lifting up. We've got five to go here before we add in our rotation and our press for four. Final three. Two more here. And we've got our last one. On this next one, we're gonna add in our bicep curl. We're gonna exhale, press away. Keep the hips tracking forward. Just rotate through the upper body. Inhale to release. Exhaling, pressing. Inhaling to release. We've got three to go here. We've got our final two. And we've got our last one here. Exhale, reaching long. Unfolding the arm, place a long loop onto your shoulder pin. And this time we're gonna step off to the side of our reformer and have our left toes in line with the part that's sticking out of your foot bar. And then your right foot's coming up against your shoulder rest. You're gonna place your hands onto your hips if that feels comfortable, or you can place your hands behind your back. We're going to have a start with a straight left leg and start with our bend through our right knee. But as we start to bend through our left knee, I want you to lengthen through your right leg. So it's like a little change. Then I want you to exhale, draw yourself all the way up, straighten the left leg, bend the right. Inhale, lower down. 
exhale drawing up and again leaning forward with the chest a nice deep lunge position here and then drawing up here inhale lower down exhaling to lift we've got it each time that you drive up through your left heel or the left leg i want you to drive up through the left heel that way it starts to connect directly through to your glute using your breath find the length through your right leg we've got four more here we've got three hips are square two to go and our final one here we're going to lower ourselves down again i want you to hold that nice long lunge position we're going to bend and extend our right leg so we're coming into our scooter inhaling exhaling reaching long we've got seven four six nice and controlled five to go for four final three two more here and on this next one let's keep reaching long for our right leg holding it there with our left heel we're going to lift it up and then lower it down inhaling and then exhaling without letting that carriage move keep working through that left glute now into the left quad we've got six more here for five final four feeling it through the calf for three two more last one lower the left heel down we've got five seconds to stand all the way up for four three two one slowly release the right leg you can shake out your left leg you can work out the glute if you need to i really felt that through my body through my butt all right we're going to come into a high kneeling position facing towards the foot bar and your feet are coming up against your shoulder rest you're going to reach down grab hold of the long loops behind you and you're going to come into a high kneeling position if that doesn't feel great for you you can always untuck your toes and come down nice and low you can sit onto your heels otherwise we're going to stay in that high kneeling position arms along by your side we're going to exhale float the hands in line with our shoulders inhale to draw back down exhaling and then inhaling here gazes forward arms are nice and straight using your breath nice work here we've got four final three two more and on this next one let's keep reaching our arms out nice and long we're going to come into our hug of trees so we're going to inhale open our arms out exhale draw your fingertips back together shoulders are down belly buttons drawing to your spine gaze is still forward we've got six but five final four here nice and controlled three two and our last one here lower the legs lower the bottom down towards your heels place the long loops onto your shoulder pins and then we're going to step to the right of our reformer so have your toes in line with the little knob that's sticking out left foot's up against the shoulder rest hands behind the back we're going to start with a straight right leg and a bent left leg as we start to lower and bend through our right leg we're going to extend our left leg out nice and long and then exhale drive up through your right heel inhale to lower down exhaling to lift we've got it and then exhale drawing up shoulders are down hips are square coming into that nice long lunge position and keep reaching back through the left leg we've got five to go for four final three two more here and our last one let's lower ourselves down again we're going to hold ourselves here let's run your left leg in and out inhaling exhaling keeping your right leg nice and still 
and a nice slow extension as you press through the left leg. Belly button's drawing to your spine. We've got six, four, five, final four, three, two, on this next one, let's keep reaching back through our left leg. Hold ourselves here. Let's lift and lower the right heel. Inhaling and then exhaling. We've got six more. For five, final four, three, two. Last one, lower the right heel down. We're gonna take five seconds to come all the way up for four, three, two. And one, lower the left leg down. You can shake out your right leg. You can tap out your goat if you need to. All right. We're going to come into our obliques now. So, coming into our side plank. Remember, if you do have a box, you can always place it as a short box up against your shoulder rest. Otherwise, if you don't, we're all going to come down onto our forearm and have your bottom kind of towards the edge of the carriage, towards the back of it. Your left foot's gonna come in front and then your right foot's behind. So whichever leg's on top, that's gonna be the foot in front. Make sure that your arm is right up against, up against the shoulder rest and place your free hand onto the middle of the carriage. I want you to start to press into your feet, press into your elbow, lift your hips off. We're going to press out nice and long through the legs. You've got the hand here for support, but if you want to make it more challenging, reach the arm up towards the ceiling. I want you to keep lifting out of your bottom waist here. The legs are nice and long. We've got it. Holding this side plank, using your breath. Inhaling and then exhaling. 10 more seconds here for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, keep holding yourself up here. With the arm that's free, we're gonna wrap it around the body, rotate the hips. Inhaling, coming back. Exhaling, rotating around. Inhaling, coming back up. We've got four more. Really rotate the hips around for three. Use your breath for two. And we've got our last one here, reaching up. You're going to bend the knees, draw the carriage in, lower the arm down, well done. If you need to shake out your shoulder, you can, because we're going to come into some more glute work and we're going to be using our arm as a little bit of a prop. So you can shake out the arm. And then when you're ready, let's place the arm back down. And then I want you to grab hold of the long loop with your left hand. You're now going to place your left foot in the long loop. So with your arm, I want you to have that same principle as the obliques, as that plank hold. So you want to keep lifting away. So you want to lift up away from the carriage, so you're nice and connected. You're going to place your left hand onto your hip. With your left leg, you're going to start in that nice 90 degree position. As you exhale, you're going to press into your left foot, lengthen the leg all the way. Inhaling to bend. Exhale, pressing away. Reaching through the left heel. Inhaling to bend, using your breath. So it is a little bit of a lighter spring, but sometimes that adds that element of control. So I want you to think about drawing up and away from the carriage, finding length through the whole left leg. So it's almost like you're creating one line, long line from the crown of your head right through to your left heel. We've got three more here. Using our breath, final two, exhale reaching long on this next one. We're gonna keep our left leg long. On an inhale breath, let's sweep the leg forward and then exhale, kicking back. So we're reaching with the toes, kicking back through the left heel, we've got it. We've got five more here. Final four, finding length. You can always make that movement as big as you want or as little as you want for three. Keep lifting out of the bottom waist for two. Whoops. And we've got our last one here. Let's sweep your top leg forward again, hold the carriage still, point the toes towards the ground, Little lift and lowers here. We've got eight for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. With a straight left leg, draw back, bend your left knee. Take your foot out of that loop. 
place the long loop onto the shoulder pin. And again, if you need to work out your bottom, you can. Otherwise, we're going to come up. We're going to swap over to the other side and get ready for our obliques. So turning around, have your left elbow in line with the shoulder rests. Your bottom's towards the back of the carriage. Your right foot's in, uh, in front of your left and your right hand is in the middle of the carriage. You're gonna press into both feet, press into your elbows, lift your hips up. We're gonna exhale, press away, keep the hips tracking forward. And when you're ready, you're gonna reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. Your legs nice and straight, lifting away from the carriage, using your breath here. We've got 10 more seconds for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. With your right arm, you're gonna wrap it around, rotate the hips, draw back up. Exhaling, rotating. Inhaling, draw back up. We've got four more here for three. Final two. Last one here, opening up. Bend the knees, draw the carriage in. And remember, if you need to shake out your arm, you can, because we're working into our glute now. When you're ready, fly your arm back down. You're gonna grab hold of your long loop. We're now gonna place it over the arch of our right foot. Lift out of your bottom waist. Your right hand's coming onto your hip. And then we're gonna draw our right leg into tabletop. As you exhale, press out through the right heel, lengthen the leg. Inhaling to bend. Exhale, pressing away. Keep lifting out of the left shoulder. Connecting straight through your right glute. Inhaling and then exhaling here. We've got it. We've got five more. For four. Final three. Belly button store into your spine. Two more here. And your final one. Find the length. Keep the right leg straight. Inhale, sweep it forwards. Exhale, kick back. Reaching with the toes, driving back through your right heel. We've got it. Keep working through your right glute. Last little bit for four. Final three. Two more here. Last one. Kicking back. Let's sweep your top leg forward again. Hold the carriage still. Point the toes towards the ground. Little lift and lowers. We've got eight. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. With a straight right leg, draw it all the way back. Then bend your knee. Take your foot out of that loop. Place the long loop onto the shoulder pin. And I want you to curl yourself all the way up. You're going to sit onto your carriage. And I just want you to extend the legs out nice and long. You're going to bend your left knee now. And then wrap your right arm around the leg. Get a nice glute stretch through the left leg first. And you can rotate through the upper body. Twisting through that torso, getting that deep stretch. When you're ready, let's unhook the left leg. And then we're swapping over to the other side. Bring your right leg over the left leg. Get that nice deep stretch. Rotate through the upper body. When you're ready, let's unhook the right leg. You're gonna shuffle your bottom just a hand's distance away from the edge. And if your legs don't fit in between your shoulder rests, you can cross one over the other. Then once you reach down, you can grab hold of your short loops. Your arms are nice and straight, so they're reaching out in front of you. And I want you to reach through the crown of your head so you're finding length. You're gonna press down through the backs of the legs. We're inhaling, taking a nice deep belly breath. As you exhale, let's start to draw your belly button to your spine. You're going to crumple through the back. Start to slide your pelvis forward. Keep your gaze reaching forward. And then I want you to breathe, stack up nice and tall. One vertebrae at a time. And again, inhaling. As you exhale, creating that nice C curve through the body. And then breathe, stacking up nice and tall. If you want less support again, you can grab hold of your long loops. 
it'll make it more challenging. And then draw yourself all the way back up. And again, inhaling, lowering down. Gaze is still forward. Exhaling, lifting up. On this next one, you're gonna hold yourself down halfway. We're just gonna curl ourselves up two inches, lower ourselves down two inches. We've got six for five and four, three, two. Last one here, let's curl up all the way. And then now this time we're gonna draw, draw our hands in close towards our chest. I want you to rotate your shoulders towards the left. We're going to inhale, keep our hands in close by our chest, lower ourselves down with that rotation. Exhale, lifting back up. Inhaling to lower down. Exhaling, drawing yourself back up. We've got three more here. We've got two. On this next one, we're gonna hold ourselves down here. Little pulses, deepening that C curve. Belly button's drawing away from your pant line. We've got four. For three, two, keeping that rotation. Last one here. Re-stack up nice and tall. If your left leg is crossed over your right leg, we're gonna swap the legs over. Now this time, you're going to rotate towards your right. We're gonna inhale, lower ourselves down. Exhale, draw yourself all the way back up. And again, inhaling, lowering down. Exhaling, drawing yourself back up. Belly button's drawing to your spine. We've got three more here before we come into our pulses. We've got two, keeping that rotation through the shoulders. On this next one, we're gonna hold ourselves down here, little tiny pulses up and down, deepening that C curve. We've got five more for four, for three, two. Final one here, lifting up nice and tall. Let's place the long loops onto your shoulder pins. And then from here, start to uncross the legs. We're gonna stand by the side of our reformer. Our feet are a hip width distance apart, arms are by your side. Let's inhale, take a nice deep belly breath. As you exhale, let's nod our chin to our chest, roll yourself down. We're gonna find the floor with our fingertips. If you need to have a soft bend through your knees, you can. And then I want you to start to lengthen through the legs. You're gonna really stack up nice and tall. And the last thing to lift is your gaze. We've got one more roll down here. Inhaling, taking that nice deep belly breath. As you exhale, nod your chin to your chest. Roll yourself down. Reach the fingertips towards the floor. Have a soft bend through the knees. And then start to really stack up nice and tall. And the last thing to lift is your gaze. Find a little bit before we finish. Find that four point kneeling position on the reformer. Oh, sorry, not the four point kneeling position. We want our knees up against our shoulder rest. We're gonna sink back onto our heels. Wrap our hands around the frame of the reformer. I want you to inhale, take a nice deep belly breath. As you do that, you're gonna to start to press into your hands. Keep your bottom attached towards your heels. You're just floating the carriage up to meet your hands. And then exhaling to lower it down. Three more here. Inhaling, getting that nice stretch through the back. And then exhaling to lower. Two more. And we've got our last one here. And then exhaling to lower. Start to re up nice and tall. You guys are all finished. Thank you very much for joining me today and I'll see you again next week. Thanks so much. Bye.